We made the debut album in, well it seemed to last about three years, uh, it was eventually released on Fontana to a, um, to a round of applause uh, performed by a single clapping hand. Um, so we kind of uh, got our own studio, uh, went to ground in Mosley, in Birmingham, and for the next three years, kind of every day, uh, wrote and recorded and learned to become a band, um, and released the album in early 96. And to our incredible surprise, he went straight in at number two and stayed there for six months. So thanks, everyone. Um, my man, that noise in the background is 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 my my morning's drinks uh, supply being destroyed. <laughs> There's the police. <laughs> it was a fantastic time, uh, 96, 97, uh, when Mosey Shoals came out, and obviously it, it made the band um, total surprise to us at the time, and. Largely, I think, down to, one, it was a great compilation of songs that people could learn and sing along to, uh, but also a big thanks to Chris Evans, who, uh, who made us, I guess, a pop band overnight. Uh, that, that sort of era, the, the American sort of 60s soul sound was, was a big influence on us, along with um, a lot of every, everything else really, going from Neil Young through to uh, Burning Spear and um, everything sort of from the last sort of 50 years of music, which was, which was great really, but uh, no, it was a joke, Muscle Shoals, the, the Muscle Shoals was in Birmingham, Alabama. You feel that? Yeah, I wrote that song in as long as it takes to um, to play. The circle just came to me um, as it was really. I think I think the only thing it was it was about twice as fast. Um, and I played it to Steve Craddock, who told me to go and change it. So I did in about 30 seconds, re-recorded it, and that was it. Really, it was one of those things which came out of the blue. Yeah, it would be out on the road playing Mosey Shoals in its entirety um, in February, which would be interesting because the day we caught the train is normally our sort of finale, really, but I think it's either the second or third song on Mosey Shoals, so it's either going to be interesting in work or it's going to be sort of downhill after the first ten minutes. So uh, I did want a stripper at half time, but I've told her all we're allowed is oranges. <laughs> <laughs> 